피람 서원 is located in 피람리, 황룡면, 장성군, 전라남도. It is the oldest and largest sawan remaining in the Honam region. In 1590, the 23rd year of King Sonjo's reign, to commemorate learning and virtue of Haso Kim in Hu, his disciples built Piram Sawan in Gisanli, Hwangyongmyeon, Jangsonggun, Jeollanamdo. Kim in Hu, a master of Neo Confucianism in the Joseon Dynasty, is one of the 18 Korean sages who were canonized into the National Academy. However, in 1597, when the Seowon was destroyed by war, it was moved to Jingsan village in 1624. Afterwards, in 1662, it became a Saik Seowon at the request of local Confucian scholars. After that, it was moved to the present location in 1672, and the name of the village was called Piramli. As the hometown of Confucian scholars, Gyeongsangdo has Andong and Jeollado has Jangseong. The spirit of scholars is remained everywhere in Jangseong, and the spirit of scholars of Jangseong is sometimes said as follows: There is no place like Jangseong in academics. Also, these words are passed on. Don't brag about your writing when you go to Jangseong. Piram Sowon is located leaning on a low hill and looking at the white field. A large space is spread out in front of the Sowon, and there is a Hongsal Mun and an old ginkgo tree. Hongsal Mun is a gate that was erected as a sign to indicate that it is a sacred place. After passing through this gate, there is a main gate of the Seowon, Hwakyeonlu. Hwakyeon means the mine is clear and fair. The name was given by Uam Song Siol, who admired Kim in This is the entire map of the Piram Seowon drawn by Yeo Shin. Cheong Jeol Dang, Jin Dok Jae, and Sung Jae, which are lecture spaces, were placed in the front, and Udong Sa, a space for ancestral rites was placed in the back. This layout structure is called a tonhak kumyo and is typical of Korean Sawon layout. Jindokje and Sungije were placed on both sides of Cheongjeoldang, and this arrangement is called Tondang Huje. The door to the entrance to Hagyeonlu is low and narrow compared to the size of the building, which means to enter with a humble mind and body. When you enter this door, you can see the large courtyard and the back of Cheongjeoldang, a lecture hall. The reason why the lecture hall is located right in front of the door is to protect the privacy of those who live inside the Sawan and to have manners to the shrine. If you enter through the small door next to Cheongjeoldang, there are Sungijae, a dormitory. Gyeongjakgak, where paintings made by the king are kept. And Jindokje, another dormitory. The principal and professors lived in the rooms on the left and right of Cheongjeoldang and the students gathered on the white floor to check their learning. On the eaves, there is a signboard saying Piram Sawan. Pil means brush 
and Am means rock. It is named after a rock shaped like a brush on a low hill in front of Kim Minu's hometown. The signboard Chong Dal Dang, hung inside, has the meaning of inheriting the high fidelity to his principle. Kyungjak Gak is a building that stores engravings of a China ink painting that depicts bamboos given by King Injong. The writing on the signboard was written by King Tongjo, and it was covered with a thin cloth because it was considered precious. When Injong was still the crown prince, Kim Min Hu was his academic teacher. Therefore, the king's favor for Kim Min Hu's learning and virtue was so great that he was awarded a picture drawn by the king. Kim Min Hu wrote a poem in response to this. Piram Sawan is built on a flat land, so there are white yards everywhere. There is another yard next to the yard in front of Tongjol Dang. In the back of the yard, there is Hanjangda, where the head of the Sawan workers live. And next to it is Changpangak, which stores engravings for making books. And next to it is the shrine, where an ancestral tablet of Kiminu is enshrined. When you enter the shrine gate, Lesanmun, there is a main building of the shrine, Udongsa. The ancestral tablets of Kiminu and his disciple Yang Zajing are enshrined here. From an early age, Kiminu showed the aspect of a scholar who searched for things. When he was five years old, he peeled a green onion one by one, looked closely at the insides, found the last piece. When his father scolded him for saying it was a useless joke, Kiminu replied, I did it because I wanted to know how things came about. Kiminu passed the civil service examination at the age of 31 and became the prince teacher at the age of 34. However, when the prince died suddenly not long after he became king, Kiminu resigned from his post and went back to his hometown to spend his life studying. The Annals of Chongzhu contains the following articles. Song Siyar said, Among many people in our country, there is no outstanding person, but heaven helped our country to give birth to Kiminu. King Chongzhu also respects and misses him. Han Zhangza, where the head of the Sawan workers live, is a unique building found only in Piram Sawan. This is because other Sawans do not build a separate building for him. It is surprising that he, who was a slave at the time, was treated like this. At least in the Sawan, it seems that class discrimination has been greatly alleviated. Piram Sawan, where the character of Kimino remains, is truly the pride of a Sawan in the Honam region.